color, for instance, I told you to take one color and I told you to go light to dark with that one color. And so far, you know, a few things that you have learned, okay? You learned about shape. You learned about value, all right? You've also learned about, um, I think it was still life, if I'm not mistaken. And you learned about lighting. And now we're going a step further and we're learning about perspective. So now what you're supposed to be doing is you're going to be using light to dark. You're supposed to be using the light to dark with just one color first. Okay. That's what I instructed last class. Now, if you don't have color, that's okay. I'm going to show you what you can do if you don't have color. Afternoon, teachers. Please pardon the interruption. Teachers, if you have not already done so, please make sure to stop by Ms. Tracy's desk um, soon to pick up your sanitation item and your extra mask for your classes. You must have those set up in your classroom prior to the bell tomorrow morning. So please make sure you do so. Do you follow up with that today? Thank you. All right, so what we're doing is we are coloring in and we're going light to dark, light to dark. If things, if areas in here, like here, this is a lighter shade. This is now a darker shade, so I'm coloring in darker, okay? Same two here, I'll color in darker and then fade it. Everything's light to dark, light to dark, light to dark, all the way through. Now, a trick that you're learning today, okay? According to what I wrote, is that you use colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, right? Now, let's take a look. Here we have red, okay? So I just started with red in my composition, okay? So now, if I want to get a little lighter, I could go ahead and use orange. If I want to get a little darker, I could use purple, according to the color wheel, okay? So let's try it, okay? Let's, you know, let's see, can you believe me? Let's find out. So let's go ahead and use orange. I'm gonna use orange in where? My lighter area, because this is like, if we, again, if we take a look at the two colors, here's red, Here's orange, here's purple. So now, according to law, it says that I use an analogous color in order to blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the orange for my lighter area, and I'm gonna use purple for my darker. So in my lighter area, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in some orange, just to see what's gonna happen. To see and test the theory, the theory that says, to use a color that's next to on the color wheel in order to blend. That's what they said that they're good for. And then here I'll also add in a little bit of that orange. Here I'll add a little bit of the orange, but I'm gonna leave some of the white just so that it gives it an extra punch. Now, in this area here, in my darker area, I'm gonna add a touch of purple, very softly in there, okay? A little bit softness there, a little bit of softness of the darker shade here, a little softened darker shade here, and a little darkened area here, and maybe a little bit right in here. So what did I just do? I just went from light to dark using the what they call analogous colors, okay? I don't wanna give you the fancy term too much yet, okay? I'm just taking you a step further, all right? So what I just did here, first step, let's do it again. I take my green and what do I do? I do exactly what we learned before about that light to dark thing, right? So here I am, I'm going dark and I'm fading to the light and now I'm gonna do the same thing again, but this time I'm gonna go dark here and then fade to light. So I'm gonna turn my paper around because for me, it's a little bit easier, okay? 
and I'm going to darken this area and then I'm going to slowly fade as I go down. Okay, a little bit darker in here and fade as I go down. Now, because I use green, let's look at the color wheel and find out what color we should use. All right, so here we've got green, okay? Now, if I wanna go lighter, what color do you think I'm gonna use? What color? Here's green. Yellow. Yellow, good. And if I wanna go darker? Blue. Blue, perfect. All right, let's try it, right? Let's see if theory is right. Okay, so now I'm over here and in my darker area, I'll go ahead and pop in the, sorry, I've got a pencil hanging out underneath here. It's driving me crazy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of blue here. And please forgive my poor pencil is having trouble. I need to go sharpen it. Okay. And then here, I'll add in that blue very softly just in that area, okay? And then let's try putting my yellow, just like it says, to add the yellow, so let's see. And then bing, just like it says, there goes my yellow, right up in there. And it, what it does, it, it, it makes like a very vibrant type of shade, okay? So you see what's happening just by using those colors that are next to each other on the color wheel, that's it. So all you got to do now for those who don't have color okay what are you gonna do all right that's okay you don't have color you don't have color it's okay now for those who don't have color what you're going to do you're going to use a regular pencil okay and you're going to do pretty much the same thing but you're going to do it with Second, let me find a normal pencil in here. Uh, tell you what, I don't have pencil, but I have charcoal, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's pretty, pretty close. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so what you're gonna do, my drawer doesn't close today. Nice, okay, like I really needed that. All right, so what you're gonna do, um, pretend this is pencil, okay, it, and it, it kind of is. The only thing is that it's a, it's a little bit chalkier and you get darker values with it. But this, this is called charcoal and charcoal tends to give you a very dark value very fast to the point sometimes that you say, oh my God, it's too much. Another thing too, I'm demonstrating mostly blending. But there's nothing wrong with doing hatching, cross hatching, stippling, okay? Any of you want to do that, you're more than welcome to, all right? So let's go light to dark, light to dark, light to dark. Light to dark, light to dark, all the way through. Just like so. Okay, so for those who have just regular pencil, that's what you're going to do. Okay, just like that. Tell you what, I'll do one more just in case. All right, just in case, for instance, here, using the side of my pencil. Things that go back in space get to get tend to get dark. Things that come out to you get, tend to get light. So play around with that. Okay, and then here, soften the touch. And I tend to move my hand back when I soften the touch because in that way. It just appears lighter and it's less pressure upon the pencil. So I'm able to get a softer shade that way. Now, so far though, you're only gonna be concerned with the positive spaces right now, okay? 
try to get all of these done by today. So next class, we could deal with the background, okay? So today, okay, last class, all 10 shapes. Then today, what are you doing? You're coloring in the shapes. And then the negative space, don't do anything yet. We'll talk about it next class. Does that make sense? Any questions on that? Okay, remember to refer to the color wheel. And I'll tell you what, if you want, I'll even post this one up online too, okay, for you. Any questions? Questions, 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 questions. So, what's, what's our homework? No, no, the homework is up online, sweetheart. Oh, okay, so yeah. what about the Kahoot? Is that homework? Okay, homework? actually I posted it for you guys to play it. I hear you could play it on your own or you could play it with a team. So, I'm gonna try to do it in class with all of you to see if it works, but if you could, just let me know if it works on your side. Could you help me out on that respect? Hello? Huh? No, I was just saying, if you'd like, you could try it on your own to see if it works. Eventually, I'm going to be assigning it, okay, to everyone. And you'll have to do it for a grade. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, now. Does everybody understand what we are doing and where you're headed to on this particular project for this week? Please pardon the interruption. All paraprofessionals, please report to the south patio. All paraprofessionals, please report to the south patio for a meeting. Thank you. Sorry about that. Okay, does everyone understand? the lesson. Any questions about the lesson? Okay, we are using analogous colors to blend. That's all we're doing right now. What about if you don't have colors? You're going to You're going to use pencil. Okay? Okay. All right. Does everyone understand? Yes. Okay. I'm finished. You can now either Now, oh wait, one more thing. There were some students that were absent. Um, and I saw two people enter late, so give me a second. Um, I'll tell you what, if those two people would just like to shout out, hey, I was late <laughs> to make my life easy. Um, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna tell you who's absent, okay? Christopher Bellador is absent. Uh, Vanilla is absent. Ariel is absent. Destiny is absent. Uh, Brian Cardona is absent. Isadora is absent. Jeremiah Fernandez is absent. Um, Fisher is absent, uh, Lazaria is absent, uh, Victor Gonzalez is absent, Sherard Gray is absent, Jonathan is absent, uh, Maximo Limas is absent, uh, mm -hmm. pardon? No, I'm here. Thank is you. that Maximo or Maxim? No, it's Victor. I'm oh, here. Victor, Victor, Victor. I didn't call your name yet. Yeah. I didn't call your name yet. Okay. Um, sorry, where I was, was Kyle is here. Sorry, where I was just calling out the absent people. Um, Lusant is absent. And Anaya Saunders is absent. Uh, Sanaya Smith is absent. And Victor Sosa is here, correct? Hello? Yes. Okay, good. All right, so that's the role. I've taken role. And if you don't have any other questions, you um, are, thanks. yes. Hi, um, I, I think you put me absent. What, uh, what's your name, sweetie? Victor Gonzalez. Victor Gonzalez. Yes. Yes, I did put you absent. So you came tardy, sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, no worries, that's fine. Okay. Now, any other questions before I let you leave, if you wish? Any questions? Now, you're um, welcome, okay, sorry, you're welcome to stay with me. You can stay up until 3.30, okay? However, you may leave, okay? This is the 
I didn't know, but I'm allowed to let you leave. Okay? Just so you know. Bye, Miss Edie. Bye, sweetie. Take care. All right, those that Bye. would like further instruction and those that need it or want to be online, you can remain online. Those that don't, okay. you do not have to. Okay? Thank I, you. Um, I'm going to know. Pardon? Sorry. I did my, uh, I did, I remember I did my, um, my shapes and color, remember? Okay, um, do you have it, did you submit it already online, sweetheart? Oh, but that's the classwork. I'm doing a, a new one, 9 times 12. Okay, remember, there's one for class, and then there's one for homework, okay? Okay. All right, making sure you understand that. All right, okay. bye. All right, bye, that's fine. I remember you could either stay online and you could work through your work and I'm online with you and eventually a, you know, a few people will be here for class. So your choice, you decide that. I don't. Bye, bye, bye sweetie. Bye, sweetie. Bye. 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 And remember, next class earlier, okay? Okay. All right, bye guys. See you on Thursday. Yes, I'm you then. Do my work, see you. Okay, do your work. Thank you. Right, see you later. Bye, sweetie. Do your work and make sure it's done. Only backgrounds next class. Bye.